In this tutorial I will explain how to create dynamic lighting for 2D sprites using a painted height map to create a normal map in Unity. I did this in Flash, but we'll have to do the animation later in Unity, just to get a feel for what, what we try to achieve. Okay, as you can see here it's, it's split into several symbols in Flash, and we can just extract these to a sprite sheet. Generate sprite sheet. And this thing we can keep is mostly at the default settings. Export. Yes. And now we go to the Unity project. We have an empty Unity project. And then we're going to import the asset. Control animated. And as you can see here, it's currently one big sprite. So we need to split it up into multiple and then have to slice it in the sprite editor you can try the automatic and it seems to work reasonably well but the thing we want to edit is the pivot point because that's where the rotation will happen from so we want that at the joints of all the components of the sprite so i'm just going to quickly pl place these approximately at the position it, it's not very exact okay and then we apply this and then close it okay so now it's split into all the parts okay so now we've imported our, our sprite in unity all the parts are there and we're just going to drag them all in the scene so we can start construct our troll back together okay and we're in the scene view, so we can move stuff around. And as you can see, the order is not correct, so that you, the order you can specify here. Let's see. Let's put that in front of the torso. And this goes in the back, that's fine. Okay. This is the back leg. And is it the front one? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is what our troll currently looks like. And let me change the camera background to black. I'll look a bit better or a bit grey. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, that meshes with the lines of the troll so let me go completely black yeah okay that's clear so the thing is now if we add a light the um the object let's make it a point light our sprite is not affected by the light so that is what we want to fix now so to get lighting on our sprite um we're gonna have to create a normal map but we can construct that from a height map or a, a bump map. So that will just be a grayscale image of the sprite with all the heights of the se uh, components of the sprite specified. Okay. So to get our normal map sprite, we need to create a new material. Control normal map. And then uh, this is going to be a transparent cutout bump diffuse. And the old sprite is just going to be the main color. And the normal map is what we're going to create. Save the scene first. And then we can save the project. So after uh, loading the file, I discovered that I didn't set the order explicitly on every part, so I first have to do that. Otherwise, it doesn't load correctly, as you can see. <laughs> so just go back, 9, 8. Oops, I moved it. 7. So this should be 6. And 
this needs to be in front of the torso but behind the head so okay so I'll just add this in between this was at 10 and then the head goes at 11 okay let's save it I'm going to go into Photoshop and then open my let me open my spreadsheet okay um, and then I'm going to make a clipping mask so I'll make a new layer and then go layer clipping masks so that way if you paint on this layer you only paint on top of the pixels in the layer beneath it so like you can see here and then I'm going to first make everything a little gray um, okay, opacity that's a nice starting point uh, I see there's some some holes in it but okay I'm just going to ignore that for now um, and then I can set the opacity a little lower so I can still see the sprite that's beneath it so convenient okay and I'm going to go into a white airbrush so something soft and then I'm just going to no, that's a bit too strong so I'll lower the opacity still a bit too strong I'm just going to everywhere everywhere where the figure comes forward it needs to be lighter and then I'm going to push some parts a bit further so now for example this skull I like the eye to pop out a bit probably won't be the best one at your first attempt but we can tweak it later okay that's good enough let's set the opacity back and save it out and now we also need to save it as PNG So now we're going to import the uh, height map and um, we're going to make that a normal map from grayscale. The bumpiness is important because it controls how what the effect is. And then in the tool normal maps we drag in the height map and finally we set it to the all the um, all the sprites just override sprite default with it okay so let's see what this looks like and now I can drag the light around and it's already a pretty cool effect I noticed some things in this um, unity scene so first is that there's a shadow line here and that's because I added cartoony shadows in the flesh figure so I need to import a new variant that doesn't have these cartoon shadows because we're gonna do our own shadows as you can see let's add the sprite sheet without the shadows and we're going to have to repeat the sprite importing I 
haven't actually used this pivot point yet, but I will do a minimal animation later. I'm gonna add it to the material, but we actually also have to update the parts. Six. Okay, let's have a look. Move the light around a bit. Well, yeah, looks good. The light is a bit. Yeah, okay. The light was all a bit in the figure and I think I actually like the torso better with the toon shadow so I'm gonna revert that part move the light around you can see that now oh, the light is not in the right yeah okay this looks better <laughs> that's working really well I mean this can be tweaked but okay for now let's do the next step let's add some simple animation um, so we're going to add uh, Let's see, an animator controller. Okay, and then we need to put the troll components in a new under a game object. That way we can this game object the uh, animator animator components at the controller there let's add, open the animation window okay that curve um, idle so that's uh, we're going to make a new animation. Add a keyframe, and we're just going to move stuff around. As you can see, uh, the pivot points are used for rotation. And now we want now we want to uh, repeat the first keyframes here. That key. Okay. Delete this. Move this back. Okay. Now it should be looping. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but. A simple animation. Save this out. Let's see what it looks like in the game. And then we can move the line around. Uh, 
so as you can see it also picks up the colors of the light it's nice if you have different environments like a lava environment you have to have some create new sprites In this tutorial I showed you how to make a sprite look more three-dimensional by adding a height map for uh, dynamic lighting. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Let's play with this light a little bit more. <laughs> Disco Troll. Thanks. <laughs>